Yo, what is going on guys? It's Seabrev. Welcome to another MLB The Show 20 card review. In this one, we're going to be going over New Legend 88 overall All-Star Greg Maddox. This card was obtainable through the pre-order diamonds if you pre-ordered a higher version of the game or you can buy him off the marketplace. He's currently selling for around 12,000 stubs. So, New Legend, super fun. Didn't think we'd ever get a Greg Maddox, but I'm super happy that we did. Uh, and this card played exactly as expected for a Greg Maddox card. Um, <laughs> his sinker has a lot of movement, and it's very downward rather than horizontal. Um, I think it's a very unique pitch. Uh, some of the highest breaking sinker, one of the highest breaking sinkers in the game right now. Just a ton of movement. Uh, obviously the per nines are just okay, but he does have pretty nice control. Uh, as far as repertoire goes, you're pretty much just going to be wanting to stick with sinker cutter change up with this card. Uh, the curveball kind of floats and even if you have good input this year, sometimes curveballs hang. Uh, but overall, pretty much what you'd expect from a Greg Maddox card. Uh, lots of movement, no velocity. I think this is a card that thrives especially on lower difficulties where pitch speeds are slower. Um, finesse pitchers usually have more success on slower pitch speeds because it requires your opponent to wait even longer and so you can induce a lot of early swings. But this card has had success for me on Hall of Fame as well. So overall, really good card, nothing but good things to say. I've had a lot of success. I've known some people that have struggled with them and I will just say try to keep your sequencing in check. Uh, don't throw too many sinkers, don't throw too many cutters. Uh, just make sure you're mixing up, changing the eye level, changing the pitch speed. And also, one suggestion I would make, uh, I do this with guys like Raleigh Fingers, Dennis Eckersley as well. Um, throw the four-seamer a lot because as people start to adjust to Greg Maddox throughout the game, uh, and in general throughout the game's life cycle, people will start to anticipate that big breaking sinker coming in. Uh, and you can induce a lot of pop-ups or swings way under the ball by throwing a lot of four-seamers. So I think that's really what separated me from other people and why I've had a lot of success with this card is throwing a lot of four-seamers in situations where people are expecting a sinker or a change-up or just something to break because with how much movement this card has, uh, just throwing something straight can really throw people off at times. So one final thing of note. Uh, 104 stamina is pretty high for this point in the game uh, and you can get a lot of innings out of this guy relative to other starters so I really really like this card super excited to see the Greg Maddox cards that we get in the future the signature series of this guy will probably be insane <laughs> I can't wait to see how much movement his sinker has on his 99 card so as always we'll rate the card how he rates in the meta and we'll rate him compared to how much he costs how he rates in the meta, I'll give him a B plus, probably an A minus even. Uh, one of the better pitchers in the game right now, in my opinion, uh, and has the potential to have success at all difficulties, which is not something that can be said for a lot of guys right now. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> and then for how much he costs, I'll give him an A. 12000 for a pretty good starting pitcher is an amazing deal right now, considering that starting pitchers are pretty hot commodities. Just pitching in general is hard to come by early on in the year. So I hope you all enjoyed this card review. Let me know about your experience with Greg Maddox, if you're having success or not. Drop a comment down below. If you want me to review anyone specific, I will be doing an incredible amount of these videos. <laughs> Already about 50 of them lined up. So stay tuned for that. I appreciate you guys watching. Drop a like on the video. It helps me out a ton. Enjoy these clips and I'll see you guys next time. Peace. And then he squares up the first pitch, dude. I'm so confused. Yeah, you like that, Slim? Yeah, you like that, Slim? You want me to keep doing it, Slim? His logo is the hub. Yeah, dude. You love to see it. Oh! Dot! That's what we call an ellipsis chat. Dude, it wasn't the servers. It was my PlayStation shutting off. Yeah, I'd say long ways the move. Well, it depends. Like, I don't know. I'm still just going to do it where I just beat the mini bosses for the XP and the stubs. But if you're someone who, like, needs a lot of help, then the slow way is way better now. 
We're gonna backdoor this cutter so fucking hard, chat. I love the backdoor. Oh. Ellipsis. Big deal. <clears throat> I feel like the Minotaur pretty often. <laughs> like that Geico commercial. Oh, that makes me laugh. Where the guy's half human, half motorcycle. <laughs> Why is that so funny, dude? Thoughts on getting Shohei as a bench bat? Go for it, bro. Although I don't think you can pinch hit starters in ranked unless you run out of relievers. So it might not work. I think that's the case. I don't know for sure though because I've never actually tried. He fouled that, chat. That was fouled. What is life and why does it torture me, ellipsis? Gary, what? <laughs> the only thing Gary has on Buster is power versus right. Buster is better in literally every single other stat. Don't get me wrong, Gary's a freak, but I think you're going a little bit of an exaggeration there. GV with the sub, two months streak, three months total. Good to see you, bro. Dream as well, the twitchness. We're hitting him with the quickness, we're hitting him with the twitchness, chat. Welcome to my life. I don't even know what I fucking say half the time. Let's go. Thank you, Nyak. Appreciate you. You love how I never use a cap? I don't know, man. There's just so many good cards. So many great names to use on this game. It just, I don't know. I'm not that concerned about having the best team to use a cap. But like I said earlier, I definitely don't hate people that do. It's a pretty good advantage, especially early on. Dude, that was the most disgusting sequence in the history of baseball pitching. And he's gone. He go. I think. Is he gone? He gone? Question mark. Let's go. 